Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroader. We've got another busy day ahead of us here at East Whittier. Got number three fired up and ready to go, and we've got a whole bunch of cars over here. And I've also made some changes to the passenger service, so we've got to get that sorted out. Let's hop in the engine and get to work. We've got the usual uh, cut of cars here for the Whittier sawmill. When you get those peeled off, I think first thing. And I've got the uh, Mikado sitting there ready to go. We have a whole bunch of cars. I think it was 41, 43, something like that, delivered to the interchange. We've got, uh, I think, six or so cars here. And for the Salmo, we'll get hooked up to those go set off and then we have to assemble the train and then uh, once the Mikado's headed out here we'll get number three and get the passenger cars up to Whittier crunch <laughs> there we go all right let's get some hoses laced up here and turn off that handbrake that handbrake. We take a look here, all the way back. A big old, uh, like a big old steel box car there. We'll pull that pin. Yep, so we got six cars, so that's fine. We can fit, I think, eight in this little slot here. And probably just keep that about 40%. It doesn't seem like the reverser works quite as intended. So it's a usual story. We're going to pull up here and reverse around these cars and get them spotted over at the sawmill means I need to throw that. I've already made the morning run up to Connolly Creek and got the log cars brought back. So I'm going to put several cuts in here so this doesn't end up being a two-hour video. All right, just spotting the cars here at the Whittier tracks. See the waybills flip as they pull in. That way we know we're on the right track. Beauty. Find the brake lever. Perfect. All right, we'll let uh, Al back that engine up. And I think we're ready for the Mikado. Let me just double check here. Yeah, this is going up to Whittier at Stenzel. Then everything else is going to uh, Bryson or West. You see we've got a whole bunch of empties for the coal mine. And we have a bunch of cars for the uh, Larkin Junction site. Then got the new passenger setup I was talking about. So let's grab the uh, the Mighty Mike. They're pulled on forward, and if we take a look here, I think one or two of you at least got the uh, the reading six chime. On the last video. Guessing which whistle that was. Forgot to throw that switch. Luckily it threw it for me. Alright, and you were full up on everything, so that's good. Let's 
see how mixed up I can get doing two locos at once. <laughs> get that open back up. And then we'll just have him wait. Right here, if I throw that switch, he sh he'll stop. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> I saw a recent, uh, I think it was a devlog video, or at least it was a video from the devs. And they're working on a waypoint system for the AI. So the AI is going to get a lot more fleshed out in the future. Where you'll just be able to say, go here, and it'll throw switches and figure it out. And pretty neat stuff. That'll be really nice for not only a solo players, but even the multiplayer is just having uh, lots of train action going on. Right, slow down just a little more. I think anything under five is fine, but no need to, to beat up the train too bad. The other train has stopped because of the switch aligned. So it looks like we got air in there and no handbrakes are set. Go ahead and ease that on up. We're not connected to here. So I ended up selling the caboose. Kind of went back and forth on that for a while, but finally decided just to sell it. You know, I'm not going for super realistic operations here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just like playing with trains. Uh, so I sold off the caboose, and then I sold off the three passenger cars. And I bought two of these uh, heavyweights, I think they're called. No, it's a steel lightweight, my bad. Uh, that holds like 80 passengers. And then I got the observation car. So these, these two cars and the observation car are the same capacity as the three passenger cars I had before. The observation car just holds 20. Uh, but we'll get a little bit of a bonus on the fare, so we'll probably end up adding more cars eventually, but it was it was kind of time financially to make that switch over. So that's what I did. So the observation car needs to be on the on the rear. So we'll want to grab this car and then get it on top of there. We'll probably come in from the back with number three and uh, grab these two cars to come on that. And then we'll push those over to Whittier. Hook them on to number one and then passenger service will resume. All right, that's fine. You don't need to get uh, too carried away there. We need to back into these guys. Oh, don't stop too soon. Did I miscalculate? Yep. <laughs> I'm still learning the brakes on this. They are pretty grabby. That whistle signal means Kerbo wants to wants to blow the whistle. <laughs> All right, we'll ease on back here, and I'm gonna actually let me focus on this car just so the camera is not so wonky. Got, uh, I think, 4,000 yeah, 4, gallons of diesel fuel. I would like to dieselize at some point, but that's very expensive. So we got to earn some money first. I think once I get uh, a Larka junction site finished, I may stop expanding for a bit and just concentrate on rolling in the cash. Because they put out an update, and there's a penalty now for terminating contracts. So I kind of regret accepting all these Tier 3 contracts all over the place. But we'll just have to work through them, you know, the best we can. Because it costs quite a bit of money to terminate those. And I'd like to keep money, so... I think running at real time, I'll be okay. It's just a, just a lot of work going on. 
All right, 2,200 tons. Oh, boy. <laughs> Are we going to be able to pull this to Bryson? Hopefully. Uh, I might have to take it in two chunks, though, over to Alarca, because that's, that's quite a bit. I don't know if we can pull that off. Okay, off you go. Need to make sure it's routed around. And yeah, I did fill that up. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get Mr. AI working on here. Uh, we're gonna li let's limit that to limit to thirty. I know there's some thirty-five. Yeah, let's let's limit this big freight to thirty. Uh, big freights can overrun flares, so be, be careful of that. You were chugging along. You're lined up there. We need to throw this guy. I'm gonna make sure he is routed around the passenger train. Somebody didn't clean up the switches last time they were through here. I'm gonna blame Al. Okay, we'll throw that. And then I want him to go all the way to Bryson, so I'm just going to double check here that he don't have any flares anywhere. No flares there. And we'll have to do here. All right, looks like he's good to get into Bryson. So let's go here. And I'll throw a Throw a flare down here so he can stop. All right, on the move. I'm going to let him get clear, and then we'll get the passenger train assembled. Boy, number 10 is hauling butt. He's already through Whittier. So maybe, maybe he could pull all that to Larka. I'm not sure. Uh, we're backing up here. We're going to get these passenger cars. So I need to go, I need to go to that track first. So that one is lined up. Whoa, Orsi. So it'll be interesting to see how the passenger service does. I thought about buying a fourth car on just the configuration I had. I think with the uh, amount of traffic and the longer runs we're going to be getting, kind of made sense right now to go ahead and switch over to the bigger cars. And we'll just add on to that. Oops, wrong direction. <laughs> a little out of practice. I haven't played this in a little while. Oh, that's cool. It's got different furniture inside. That's neat. I need to get these guys uh, numbered, I think. We're going to do the, uh, the 400 series. This doesn't have a... Oh, no, it does. It does have a number down there. Oh, those weren't coupled together. Woo! Didn't realize that. Assumed it spawned those in together. Just wasn't counting the little blips. Oh, neat. It's got the, uh, what do they call that? 
Is it the apron? I forget what that's called. The bellows between the cars there. That's neat. Nice little detail. Now we have all the cars. Observation car has got the uh, three axle trucks. Very cool. Yeah, that's neat. And one thing I forgot to do was uh, write down the color scheme I was using. I had a specific green, but I don't remember what it was now. <laughs> I'd have to go back and look. Not a big deal, though. Yeah, those cars look good. This even has a light on the back. Pretty good brake authority. campaigning for another camera mode where it's just a free floating camera be so much easier to use if you're you know wanting to look at the car it's nice to have it lock onto the car or loco you want to just get to some hoses it's a little bit of a pain cur chunk all right so let's switch to the last car does that let me zoom in here? I guess I need to go to first person. No, that'll work. Got it. All right, let's have you do that. And then I'm gonna go to follow mode on here. And if we go to Customize. I know I had a I had a base color. I don't remember what it was now. It wasn't that? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could remember what it was. Nope, that's really bad. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't remember what it was. We'll go with default for now. Oh, it's the switch aligned. Right, right, right. All right, let's get you on your way. Yeah, we got that and let's see let's have you be 410 uh oh what happened okay we'll go to you it'll be 411 oh it doesn't copy the text Interesting. Whoa, why do you keep doing that? Why are you being weird, train? All right, well, I'll just copy and paste this. There we go.
Yeah, I guess that's just a thing. It breaks the car follow. So the observation car just has it as a little number down in the corner. All right, fair enough. Okay, so for this guy, we need to, yeah, basically just push it into this engine. That'll be the uh, the passenger service. So and grab that back on manual. I didn't look at the weight. These say lightweight, but I wonder if they weigh more than the old ones. Go look at passenger. These weighed 57.4. Oh yeah, they're like over twice as heavy. That's why. That's why I'm feeling it. <laughs> Pushing it with number three here. So we'll just tack these on the end, and then I I may start turning the passenger train now that we have the observation car. I was just going back and forth. All right, how much braking authority do we have here? We had enough. Coming through, people. Go down to the end car here. And we've got 97 passengers waiting. Excellent. We need lots of passengers. There we go. View coast on backwards. Can I hook these up even though I'm not controlling that train? I can. All right, good deal. So if I hit you, you're still on manual. Good deal. All right, start loading up. Get them on their way in a bit. So you, I'm going to go ahead and just send back to the yard. Well, to, uh, to East Whittier. And we'll just have you hang out here for now. Just go back to there. Back over here to the passengers. How are we doing with getting passengers on board? Excellent. Uh, we have two active waybills. Is that the sawmill? Oh, right. I need to move the uh, coal car over. Because we're just about out of coal. All right. These hold 84. Oh, I thought they held 80. Okay. 84. It's like they maybe get on the observation car first because it's full. So we're going to let this fill up. We'll probably run around, I don't know, 10 o'clock or noon. We'll see how it goes. We should go check in on number 10. Looks like number 10. Just pulling into Bryson. And are you going to be able to stop for the flare? Probably should have had him slow down earlier. We'll see what happens here. He's putting on, putting on more brakes. You might need more brakes than that, buddy. <laughs> He's like, all the brakes. Oh, he's going to overrun it, I think. No, no, he might make it. Okay, he made it. Oh, it just like literally just stopped him. That might be new. I've had them overrun fuses before. Okay, well, we made it here. This is a lot of a lot of train. A lot of train sitting here. But we do have a couple on the front here. 
What I'd like to do, I don't think I have the money yet. How are we doing on finances? Yeah, we're we're poor right now because I just bought all that stuff. I'd like to have a switcher over here at Bryson. So that's that's the goal eventually. But we've got uh oh I forgot to drop that off at Whittier. That was bad. Alright, we'll bring it back on the on a return run. But I need to cut off uh these three cars here. And we're gonna move on through with the, the through freight. So we'll just stick them on a track here. And yeah, and I totally forgot I needed to drop that off at Stenzel. Whoops. We took that car for a long ride. As long as it gets delivered today, we'll get the, the same day bonus. I was going to cancel all the contracts except for the sawmill and the coal mine. Then I saw they'd made the change where it cost me a bunch of money to do that. So That nicks that idea. So you look at uh, locations like if I wanted to terminate that, it would cost me a thousand dollars, seven hundred and fifty for the tier change, two fifty for con for uh, canceling the contract. So it's expensive. those back in there. Then this just needs to run on through to Alarca. Can we make it? Maybe. good on coal and water so far but this thing does eat it does eat a lot of coal and water all right let's get you laced back up we got yeah we got robinson gap and alarca junction everything else goes straight on through to alarca We on bright? There now we're on bright. Off we go. Should make sure we're lined up out of town. Let's go double check real quick. Normally these are all good. I just need to switch here. That one is switched. That one's switched for straight on through. So I think we're good. Okay, I'm gonna throw some edits in here. We'll see how we do on the uh, grade over there west of the bridge. See you in a bit. Yeah, okay, we're pounding up the grade here to the bridge. I'm gonna start losing speed, I'm sure. It's uh, not quite one degree up here. 
or sorry, 1%. And I've got the reverse run about 20%. I'm not sure what the most efficient is for pulling. Probably 40 when we get to the big grade here. It's a little hard to move this precisely. All right, 2,000 tons hitting the grade. We'll see how we do. I hope I have enough water. Uh, we don't have any water over here because we're not open to Alarca yet. We need water tankers. <laughs> I've come pretty close to running out before. How much does this have? 5,500. Oh boy. Now we're feeling the grade. Yeah, I probably should have filled up the water. Might have been a mistake. Doing okay on coal, but we're going to eat through the water. We're on 40%. We'll just kind of ride it out and see how we do here. Not much else we can do, but hang on. We could get a thumbnail, though. I'll get a left and a right. I never can remember which the last video was, so... Don't want them all facing the same way. Get a nice dramatic shot right by the speed limit sign. Down to 12. It's not looking good. to get out and push. She's trying. It's not, it's not looking good, team. It's, it's not looking good. I think 2,000 tons is just too much. I wish I knew where the optimal reverser setting was. I think if you go out this way, it's like even worse. I'm not sure. This is where we stalled. All right. Well, now I know 2000 tons is too much. We even hold it here with the independent. It's not too happy about it, but it's, it's mostly holding. All right, well, I'm going to back up uh, back to Bryson. I should have topped off with water anyway, and then we're going to have to split the train. So we'll have to take the uh, the Alarca uh, camera. What are you doing? We'll have to take camera. What are you doing? You're being weird. Uh, we'll have to take the Alarca Junction train by itself. So we'll have to split the train. It's just too much.
All right, the slow roll of shame back into Bryson. <laughs> oh, well, we live and we learn. So I think that'll be it for this video. Um, I have no doubt I can split the train and get over there. No problem. So I'll get these cars over to the Alarca Junction site and I'll get these filled up with some coal. And then I'll probably bring the coal back and then I need to pick up that, uh, was it stencil manufacturing? So yeah, I'll be doing some running around and then uh, we'll try to get the Alarca Junction sorted out before the, maybe before the next video. I'll see how many cars we get tomorrow deliver but just the Alarca Junction site alone is uh, 21 cars so it's a lot it's a lot of drainage get about a five pound reduction on just to keep the speed a little bit under control thanks as always for watching folks hope you have a great new year I'm not 100% sure when this will be coming out hope you had a good Christmas and a happy new year I'll catch you in the next adventure take care